Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now, we've been talking about the anointing, the teachings, anointing, and, and getting, living your life on the basis of truth. Now, I, have, I read to you what, what Peter said in 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 1. He says, as there were false prophets you know, before, with the people, there will also be false teachers. So I said, look, watch out for false teachers. And I said, false teachers don't mean that these people are, they, they belong to the devil, they do all manner of things. Now, they can be that, but most, most especially, a false teacher is the one whom have not been commissioned to teach what he is teaching. Now, even though you, you, you can teach, even though you taught very well yesterday, doesn't mean you will teach very well today. Even though you taught very well, yes, um, you taught on the topic of um, righteousness, it doesn't mean you can teach on the topic of um, salvation or healing. You need to understand these things. So don't, you, don't, you don't take it on yourself that, oh, I'm a good teacher of the word of God. No, no. No, 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 no. Listen, we teach according to the inspiration the Lord allows us to teach. So if the Lord doesn't give you the anointing to teach something, not all, if he doesn't expound that thing through you, you can teach on it. Whatever you're going to say on that thing will be nonsense. I'm telling you the truth. And, and that's the mistake a lot of people face. Now remember... God said concerning Moses, now I want you to get this. God said this about Moses. He said, look, you know, when, when Aaron and Miriam spoke about against Moses, God said, hey, come here. I think this is in Numbers chapter 12. God says, come here. Now, if there's a prophet among you, I'm going to speak to him by vision or by dream. But that's not how I speak to Moses. He says, see, Moses, I speak to him mouth to mouth. Now, what do you understand from that? God said, I speak to Moses mouth to mouth. Now, in Deuteronomy, God giving the testimony concerning Moses. The Bible says, there is no other prophet like Moses whom God used to relate face to face with. <laughs> Did you see that? Now, that's the how great Moses was. Meaning, this gives us an idea that everything Moses knew, he knew it directly from God. Am I right? Okay. Now, Jesus comes and says, Moses said to you, an eye for an eye, but I say to you, and then he goes on to negate what Moses said. And, and several things that Jesus began to teach, you know, when he started teaching the people in the book of Matthew, and you can find this in the gospel. He says, it has been said to you, and then he will tell them what Moses told them. But then he does say, but I say to you, and then he begins to change them. Why? I thought Moses used to speak to God mouth to mouth, or God used to speak to Moses mouth to mouth, meaning Moses shouldn't go wrong in anything. But Jesus came to let us know that Moses went wrong. See? Now, oh dear Lord Jesus, I pray the spirit of understanding will flood your hearts. Now, secondly, Jesus said this concerning John. John the Baptist. Jesus said, of every man born of woman, there is none as great as John the Baptist. Wonderful. But then he now went further to say something. He says, but I tell you this, in the kingdom of heaven, the least person is greater than John the Baptist. Now, I know many people have gone on to explain this, you know, but, but you see, like I said, if the Holy Spirit have not taught you something himself you have no right to teach it you have no right to say it you have no right to sound it as an opinion now that's how people go wrong because people give their opinions you don't give your opinion you know, as a child of god you ask the opinion of the holy spirit now before you say anything if he has not given you anything to say you keep quiet you say look i don't know he has not told me this but because you know how human beings function because people have hailed you oh this is a great teacher this guy can dissect the word of god and then you carry on that pride oh i'm a great teacher and then you want to say something about everything no if the lord have not given it to you he has not given it to you so so we don't continue uh, damaging people's lives even though our intention is to save them but we end up damaging their lives because we teach them what is wrong. So, Jesus said in the kingdom of heaven, the least person is greater than John the Baptist. Now, you look at that and I say, maybe Jesus was just saying that 
you know, in the kingdom of God, everybody's equal. Or, you know, John has to get born again to enter the kingdom of God. So, no, no, that's not what Jesus was saying. Because the same Jesus said, anyone who breaks his commandment and teach men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Now, Jesus comes and says, in the kingdom of heaven, John the Baptist is lesser than the least person. Now, what do you understand from that? It just tells you that something was wrong with John the Baptist. He said, John the Baptist, oh yeah. Now, like I said, if the Holy Spirit doesn't open you to these things, you will never know. See, even as I share this with you, I don't expect you to just take it and swallow it. I'm just opening you up to some things. So what you're expected to do before you take this and hold on to it is to go back to the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, Pastor Tuba was sharing some things that I don't get. I'm hearing that for the first time. Can you talk to me about it? And then allow him to teach you. Now, so when John says, we don't have any need that any man should teach us, you know the reason is because the Holy Spirit is the one that has been ordained to teach you and I. So what do we do going to church? We share our testimony. So what do you mean share my testimony? You know, testimony have been reduced to praise God. I received a car last week. Praise God, I got a new job. Praise God, we have a baby. Praise God, my wife got pregnant. Praise God, that, that's what we reduce testimony to. But listen, that, those are the least of testimony. But those are not the things we should be sharing in church. I'm telling you the truth. We are supposed to be sharing what the Holy Spirit is teaching us. That is the testimony. See, so the Holy Spirit taught me this. I never knew it before. That's the testimony. What are you testifying? You are testifying that what Jesus said, that the Holy Spirit, when he comes, he will teach us all things. You, today, are testifying that Jesus spoke the truth and I've become an experience. I've, I've experienced it. I've become um, a, a witness to that truth. So when you have a testimony, I have a testimony. We look at our testimonies together. What happens? We are Coming to the unity of the faith. Praise God. Our time is up. We will continue tomorrow. Listen, the Spirit of God bless you and fill you with His truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.